In this video, I'm going to show you the update to my uTwist tool, which now also includes a band DZTL. With these tools, you can do the following things. The uTwist DZTL twists U values towards their neighboring colors, but what makes it interesting is that it does this based on the brightness of each U. Darker areas are shifted more towards the neighboring U, while lighter areas go towards the opposite one. So here in DaVinci I have multiple ways to rotate a U. For example, I can use the color warper, select this point, and then I can move it to the left or right and shift the U. Another option is to use the color slice tool. Here I select the blue value and shift it to the left and to the right. And what we can observe is that we are shifting the brightest U and the darkest U of a color. But what if I want to shift the bright area of blue towards magenta and the dark blue area more towards cyan? And this is not possible with the current tools. So that is why I built an extra tool for it and called it U-Twist. So with the twist tool, this is now possible so for example, if I adjust the blue slider here and push it to the right, we can now see that um, the bright blue value gets more shifted towards cyan and dark area will get shifted more towards magenta. So this is what it looks like. Then there is this Luma low high slider so when I move this slider to the left, um, the threshold where the adjustment takes place will be lowered and I can also set it up high. So this is very useful if you just want to adjust more the bright area or more the dark area and so on. And with Luma range, we can change the intensity of the S curve. So this is a bit softer and this is a bit steeper. Another feature in this updated version is the highlight button. And if I press the highlight button, it will show me the region where the twist detail affects the image. So here we have some real world footage and I'm going from red gamma to gamma 2.4. And in this image, I want to shift the brighter areas of blue more towards cyan and the darker areas more towards magenta. So I'm adjusting the blue twist slider and we can see that everything shifts more towards magenta. So I click on highlight, then I will lower the luma slider and also the luma range. And this gray area here shows the division between high and low. This is before and this is after. And now we have more cyan in our highlights and more magenta in our shadows. And here's some other footage, which is also perfect for demonstration. So maybe I want to adjust the dark area more towards magenta. Then I also click on the highlights. Then I will lower the luma range. Then I will lower the luma low high slider. And this shows me exactly what parts of the image will be affected. So right now, here are the bright areas and here are the dark areas. And this is what it looks like. So this DCTL might be also useful to recreate certain film characteristic, in this case, print film characteristic, so here I will select the Kodak 2383 LUT and place it here. 
And here I will do a color space transform to Cineon film lock. So this is before the LUT has been applied and this is with the LUT. So now I will select the qualifier and if I select this U here, we can see that the dark areas will be shifted more towards magenta and the brighter areas will be pushed more towards cyan. So I will crop the image to make it more visible. So this is without the LUT and now with the LUT. Bright areas will be shifted more towards cyan and dark areas will be shifted more towards magenta. Now we'll try to recreate the look of the 2383 LUT. So in this first easy tell I use the twist slider. Then here in the second easy tell I will shift the blue more towards cyan. And in the last easy tell I will change the density a bit. So maybe like this. So it's not a perfect match as you can see here but we get similar characteristics. So this is before, where it's just a straight line, and this is after. So it is not a perfect match because we can see that we have more saturation in the highlights, and of course we can make further adjustments for the highlight and desaturate the highlights a bit for finalizing the image. But it's not about recreating the Kodak LUT is just to demonstrate that we can create a similar look. So the twist tool is great for twisting certain U values, but what if I only want to shift the bright area of the blue towards cyan or only the dark area? And another detail in the pack is the bent detail. And the bent detail looks very similar, but when we adjust the values here, um, the U value will not get twisted, but the U will be bent instead. And now if we only want to shift the bright area of blue more towards magenta or cyan, we can change the luma low high slider. So now only the low area will be affected. So with the Luma range, we can adjust the strength of the curve. And here in the example with real world footage, so first I will select band. And now I will adjust the blue region here and I click on highlights. Now I can see that I will only affect the bright area here and can lower the Luma range. And now we can see that I only adjusted the bright areas here and not the low region. And of course, if we push it too far, we will break the image. So then we have to adjust the Luma range and soften it up a bit. And now it is softer. So now we're shifting the bright areas more towards magenta. So this is before and this is after. And we are not changing the dark areas here. We are only shifting the bright areas. So here's another example. Maybe I want to change the hair a bit. So I will shift the skin tone more towards magenta. I adjust the Luma and will lower the Luma range. And now only the hair is selected. 
we can see that this area is affected and this is not and we have a nice um, roll off between our use. So this is before and this is after. And this tool is also useful to change the shadow area of a face. So here in this example, I will also change the skin slider and push it more towards magenta. Then I click on highlight. I will change the luma range, bring it all the way down. And now we can see which part we will be affecting. And now this is before and this is after. So of course I would not go this extreme. So I will bring up my luma range to soften it a bit and also bring down the skin slider. So this is before and this is after. So we have more contrast between the shadow area and the highlights. And here another example. So let's reset those sliders. And then I will push the skin slider to the right. Then I will lower the luma range and also the Luma Threshold slider. So now I'm only affecting the shadow area here. And this is before and this is after. So we shift the shadow region more towards magenta. And we can also get really artistic and more stylized if we want to. That's it. You can find more information on my website and also a free demo version. And if you have any questions, please leave a comment or email me. Have a nice day and see you next time.